Hey guys, first off, Happy New Year. I hope you had a great start of 2024. While the year has changed, we are still on the grind for YouTube rank. And to get one step closer to that goal, today we will talk about gold mining. I will explain to you how to do it, what you need to do it properly, what it's used for, and if it's even worth it for you. If you want to support me on the journey to YouTube rank, click the subscribe button below. It only takes a second of your time and you can always change your opinion later on. Anyways, let's start with the video. First off, we want to talk about why gold mining is a thing. The Golden Dragon Pet has a perk called Shining Scales, which gets your stats depending on your gold collection. For every digit in your gold collection, you get 10 strength and 2 magic find. This means, while you have 1 to 9 gold in your collection, you get 10 strength and 2 magic find. While having 10 to 99 collection, you get 20 strength and 4 magic find, and so on. This perk caps at a counter of 1 bill, which is 1 1 and 9 zeros. So 10 digits and therefore 100 strength and 20 magic find. So this already answers the questions why and when you should do it. Gold mining is especially worth it if you want to squeeze every bit of damage from your golden dragon pet. If you don't have a golden dragon, you only need max gold collection for your skyblock XP and recipes. I will answer the questions for coins per hour later on in the video. But Alex, aren't gold minions a viable option to get the collection? Definitely no. I ran gold minions for about a month and only got a few mil collection from it. To get the one bill in your collection, you would have to run gold minions for multiple years, so it's definitely not worth it. But let's say you got a golden dragon and you want to get max damage from it. What do you have to do? How to set up gold mining? As for all mining related topics, there is also a guide for gold mining in the mining code discord. I will link it in the description. The first thing you need to know is, gold mining is being done in crystal hollows. While there are gold veins in dwarf mines, down in the royal mines, the amount of gold you get is way less, so I wouldn't recommend it. In Crystal Hollows, gold mining is being done in the mines of Divan. To find it effectively, get yourself some wishing compasses and use them in the Mithril deposit area. If there is a mines of Divan in that lobby, the compass will create a line in the direction of it. There are three possibilities why it might fail. If you already have a Jade Crystal, you need to clear it from your heart of the mountain. To do so, you either have to buy 5 flawless Jade and forge a perfect one, or you have to complete a Nucleus run. I've heard doing a single run is good. Sadly, I don't have a clip of this, as I only did a single run to clear my crystals. If it's still on my AH right now and you want to buy it, feel free to DM me. Back to topic. Another reason why the compass might fail is because there's no structure in that lobby. In that case, you have to switch lobbies until you find one with the Mines of Divan in it. Lastly, it might be the case you got particles turned off. You can either have them turned off client-wise, turn them back on in your video settings, or you have them turned off server-wise, run slash pq high to turn them back on. Now that we know how the compass works, we can easily find the Mines of Divan. But it is not done by just finding one of these. You also have to look for another important fact. See, the mines can spawn in different heights. You want to look out for mines being at one of the two lowest heights. Meaning if you dig through the gold, you either want to be one or two blocks below the lowest level of gold and in magma fields. If the mines spawn too high, switch lobbies again until you find a proper lobby. I guess now is a good time to talk about the gear you need to properly mine gold. Let's start off with the armor. You want to use 3 pieces of mineral armor, reforged to jaded, as well as 1 piece of divan's armor. Usually the divan's piece is the chest plate. Since gold has nothing to do with pristine, you don't need the topper slot unlocked. As a drill you can use a titanium drill x 6 5 Personally I used the divan's drill. Especially compact is good on this one as it works on the gold blocks. So you get some enchanted gold on the way. You want to own the blue cheese omelette? But it's up to you if you use it on your main drill or a secondary drill. I personally used it on my advanced drill, as I'm lazy. If you use a sunny side omelet on your main drill, it's getting more stressful, but you bump up your rates by a bit. The pet of your choice is a ball pet, as your character is within magma fields, with a quick claw as a pet item. As explained earlier, you always want to be in magma fields when mining gold, so the ball perk made of lava is active. As for equipments, you want to run the usual ones, Rift Necklace, Ancient Cloak, Black or Gill Splash Belt and 10 Stark Glowstone Gauntlet, all recomped and reforged to glistening. Now that we know what gear should be used, let's talk about the Heart of the Mountain and the amount of powder you want to have. You want to skill your Heart of the Mountain like shown on screen right now. Ideally, you want to have at least 3.9mm Mithril Powder, so you can max Mining Speed and Mining Fortune 1. Efficient Miner doesn't work on the Gold Blocks, so you don't need to max it. Also, you want to have at least 7.4 million gems in powder, so you can max Mining Speed 2 and Mining Fortune 2. If you want to get some extra coins, you can get powder to max Seasoned Mine Man and a pet with XP share. 
but during my test I only got about 340k pet XP per hour on the XP shared golden dragon, which translates to about 700k coins. Ultimately, you want to get as much mining fortune as possible and at least 7.2k mining speed if you have a blue cheese omelette. The reason behind this is you can insta break gold blocks with 36k mining speed, which you get with 9k mining speed without or 7.2k mining speed with blue cheese omelette and using the mining speed boost ability. Okay, now you know about the requirements. But how to actually do it now and how worth it is it? If you find the proper mines of Divan, you want to undermine all of it. A higher level of mole is recommended for this task. Also try to even out the floor as much as possible. Randoms will come to you from time to time and dig open some of the floor. If it's too much, go ahead and fix it. Big thanks to 0xfe here. When I prepared for my test, he joined the lobby, but when he saw me, he was fair enough to give me the lobby and not grief. Guys, always be nice to each other. And if you see someone grinding in the lobby or at the spot you want to grind, don't be a douchebag and leave instead. Once you're done preparing the lobby and you start to grind, you always want to focus on the second to last row of gold blocks. The mineral armor is breaking blocks in a 3x3 area around the block you break. The amount depends on the amount of pieces of mineral armor. If you focus on the second to last row, you get as many blocks as possible. The gold blocks are respawning every 5 minutes, so try to time it as much as possible. Especially if you're solo grinding it, you don't have a problem finding enough blocks within that 5 minutes. But randoms will come and will also start mining there, even if they see you already doing it. Which gets me to one of the major downsides of gold mining. You will nearly always get griefed. But now for the final results. Would I advise you to do gold mining and how much did I get from doing it? Only do it if you either want to maximize your damage or magic find and if you don't get tilled easily. Otherwise I wouldn't go over 100 mil collection at max. The difference isn't significant while still being there. As for money, it is decent while being worse than gemstone, but better than mithril. I ran my test for 30 minutes and got a total of 3.3 million collection, which gets me a total of 6.6 .6 million gold collection per hour. Take this value with a grain of salt, as I'm not into gold mining. So if you get more used to it, you can easily get up to 7 mil per hour. Another factor is the ping. While Denka Skyblock mod helps with the ping issues, Due to the fixed drill animation reset, there is still a noticeable difference between higher and lower ping players. CandyPad and Vid did a video about gold mining in the past and they got closer to 8 million collection per hour. The mining code guide says just about 8.5 mil collection per hour is possible, but that's the world record value. I think it's realistic to expect about 7 to 8 million collection per hour, depending on your skill, your setup and your ping. As one gold sells for 4 coins to the NPC, you always get between 28 and 32 million coins per hour. Depending on mayors, gold might even be worth more, for example when Diana is about to come. But of course this only matters for those players who aren't game mode text. I hope this gave you a good overview of gold mining. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments. And now have fun grinding and I'll see you in the next one.